Europe says that it has discovered evidence that companies like BYD, MG, basically all Chinese automotive companies are getting direct subsidies and payments to sell their cars outside of China. Basically, for every EV that they sell outside of the country, the Chinese government is giving them money straight into their bank accounts. This is what the European Union is claiming. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. I can't say whether or not this story is true. I am a little bit dubious. I'm going to guess there is evidence. Whether or not there's evidence for lots of car manufacturers doing this, I don't know, though. European Commission says it has evidence the Chinese government is subsidizing EVs exported to Europe through direct transfer of funds and other mechanisms. Now, this is definitely possible for companies like MG, because who owns MG? I mean, the government owns MG. Yeah, okay, they're part owned by Alibaba, but yeah, the government owns a significant percentage of SAIC or SAIC, and SAIC manufacture MG vehicles. So that's highly possible. But the question is, do BYD get these subsidies? Do NEO, Xpeng, all these other car manufacturers, there's heaps of them that are planning on selling or already selling EVs in Europe. Are they getting direct payments into their bank accounts for every single EV they sell in Europe? Well, that's what Europe is saying. The commission is in the midst of an investigation into whether Chinese built EVs are receiving completely unfair subsidies. Potential remedies could include tariffs, well, will include tariffs to protect European Union producers to protect BMW, Mercedes, Audi, Volkswagen, Renault, um, Citroen, all of them. You see what I'm talking about, right? The probe is due to conclude in November, although the EU are likely to impose provisional duties in July. It's going to be a big challenge here for BYD in particular and MG, of course, because they're the companies that are really targeting Europe more than anyone else. And Tesla has already been, they've been uh, exonerated. Apparently Tesla hasn't been receiving any kind of subsidies from the US, from the Chinese government. Uh, European Union have already said, no, 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 Tesla vehicles will not be getting ones, the Model 3 that ma is manufactured in China. They won't be getting penalized. So their competition will have a harder time to compete with them because they will be given tariffs. What will those tariffs be? They could be 10, 20, 30%. We don't know yet. The commission said it would start customs registrations of Chinese EV imports on Thursday, meaning they could be hit by retroactive tariffs from that point if the EU's trade investigation concludes um, with them as being guilty, which it looks like it will do so. The China Chamber of Commerce to the EU said that it was disappointed by the move and that the surge of imports reflected increasing European demand for Chinese-made electric cars, which are, well, very, very affordable. On Tuesday, the Commission published a document that said it had sufficient evidence tending to show that Chinese EVs were being subsidized and that imports had increased significantly year over year since the investigation was formally launched in October. Now, Automotive News in Europe says that the Commission said it could not estimate the amount of any potential retroactive tariffs. Chinese automakers, including BYD and MG, are targeting Europe with a range, a huge range of competitively priced EVs, putting pressure on mass market manufacturers, Stellantis, the Volkswagen Group, French manufacturers, all of them, basically, Italian, Fiat, etc. BYD overtook Tesla as the world's largest electric car seller in December of last year. Now, of course, Tesla have taken that back this year. But by the end of this year, it looks like BOD will probably be the biggest in the world. And I believe that a lot of Europe, and especially the United States, are very worried about BYD, as they probably should be. Now, BYD manual board purchased seven car ships to export their cars all around the world. And some of them actually just rocked up in European ports within the last few weeks, full of cars, full of BOD EVs. Now, we just found out within the last few days, be able to have ordered an additional seven car ships. We're talking massive car tankers. They're gonna have 14 of these things, um, basically shipping their cars all around the world, constantly. So what's the evidence here? The commission said it had evidence that showed EU imports are being subsidized. Those subsidies include direct transfer of funds and potential direct transfers of liabilities and funds. 
government revenue foregone or not collected. So in other words, no taxes. Government supplies of goods or services for less than adequate remuneration. So the governments, they say, finding all these different ways to subsidize car manufacturers as long as they're willing to send their EVs, sell them outside of China. Now, to be fair here, it's probably true. Let's, let's be honest. I mean, come on. China's been doing this now for f more than 50 years. It's called Belt and Road. Belt, their Belt and Road system, it's well, very well known. China doesn't actually try to hide from Belt and Road. It's just a part of their global strategy. It's um, in fact what a lot of countries have done, but China's strategy is very well known. And China has, does have a lot of money. They pour billions and billions of dollars into this. They do it in countries like Africa. They invest in infrastructure. They invest in all different kinds of things. And they get a foothold in a certain country. They get businesses prop propped up in that country. And those businesses, you know, uh, begin to sell Chinese goods in that country and it works well for China. And so China have a very known, well-known history more than any other country in the world of doing this kind of thing. It really wouldn't be a surprise if they were doing this for electric cars. The commission said the exports from China constitu constituted critical circumstances through massive imports in a relatively short time. There were nearly 200,000 imports from October 2023 until January 2024. That's a pretty big number, right? Imports increased year over year in the period from October to January, the commission said. And if you look at China's imports, well, yeah, the EU accounts for nearly 50% of the cars, the EVs that China is selling uh, worldwide. That's a pretty big number. Now, if China's imports continue at the current pace, the commission said EU automakers will face diminishing sales and reduced production levels. That will negatively affect employment and the overall production of union producers. In other words, European Union is saying, well, the automotive industry is our biggest employer in Europe, which it is. We're going to lose that industry. Our economy is going to be basically destroyed. Now, it's going to happen. There's nothing they can do about this. The other thing worth, worth considering here is China is actually currently manufacturing. Apparently, they say they're going to manufacture millions of robots in order to produce everything. So... The manufacturing industry in Europe will eventually be decimated. It's just a matter of time. Europe's, you know, just scared this is going to happen much faster than we all thought it would. Now, the EU has discovered subsidy margins on EVs ranging from around 5% to 17%. In other words, the EU is saying they know some cars that are being sent to Europe are being subsidized 17%. That's huge. That's absolutely enormous. I mean, that is a huge advantage for a car manufacturer. Now, the investigation is part of a broader EU effort to protect supply lines and bring production closer to home, particularly in key sectors like semiconductors and pharmaceuticals. So this is not just about the automotive industry. The announcement tested already fragile relations with China, which subsequently launched its own anti-dumping investigation into alcohol imported from Europe a move seen as retaliation against France, which supported the electric vehicle probe. Now, the truth is France have been pushing for this probably more than any other country in Europe. So they've got a point here. And the truth is that the only thing that really China consumes en masse from Europe, which is a big, big thing they import is alcohol. There's a lot of alcohol production, a lot of wine comes from France, a lot of different stuff that comes from Europe, particularly alcohol from France. And China's, well, they're saying, okay, you're going to do this to us, we'll do this to you. We can hit you hard if we want to. It's going to be interesting to see how all of this plays out over the next year. It's really not a situation that I think Europe can win from. But anyway, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.